Welcome to my channel. My name is Lacey. If you're new here, I'm going to do a whole house clean with me today. I, it's really bad. My house is filthy. Um, so I actually have not like clean cleaned in like three days. I have been lazy. I'll admit that I've been lazy. I needed a break. Um, I just kind of wanted to like enjoy a couple of days but it kind of backfired on me because I could not enjoy it myself. I couldn't, I can't relax when my house is a mess. My bedroom is out of control. My um, laundry piled up. I did actually get laundry done yesterday. I still have more to do. So yeah, I have a lot to do. The living room's a mess. The kitchen's a mess. Everything's just a mess. I have not I just haven't cleaned it really good. So I know that every single mom's house gets like this. Most of them like normal moms who aren't neurotic, even though I'm kind of neurotic probably. But I decided that, you know what, I should show it because I think the majority of moms, stay at home moms especially, even working moms, um, their, their house probably gets out of control and that's okay. So this will just be some major motivation or maybe your house really isn't that bad and you need to do just like a little, a couple of things here or that here and there. And that might make you more motivated. Do you get what I'm saying? Like to see someone's house who is a wreck and be like, okay, well, it's not that big of a deal if I just do these couple little things that I've been putting off. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. We're out of toilet paper. So yeah, and this is the newest hair in the hair saga. So my friend Charity at Gypsy Wife Life, I'll link her down below her channel. Her channel's amazing. I've been watching her for a very, very long time. And before I started YouTube, we became really good friends. She is just amazing. I love her. She's amazing. So I'm going to link her channel down below. She told me, don't mess with your hair, Lacey. Leave your hair alone. What are you doing? And Lacey didn't listen because I kept saying, oh, I want to go blonde, I think. And she's like, don't do it. Do not touch your head. And I was like, okay, yeah, I want. And then I didn't listen and I did it anyways. And then Charity told me, you need to go to a hairdresser. Do not do anything. Like after I bleached it, Charity was like, don't touch your hair, Lacey. You need to go to the hairdresser to let them fix it. And I did. And she did do as much as she could, you know, to lift the color some more. So I have like a little bit more of like a uniform color ordeal going on. Oh, I'm, I got marker on my hand. I have a little bit more uni more uniform color going on. Yeah, Charity, I'm hard-headed as all get out. The next time I do anything to my hair, I will be sitting my butt in a salon chair and probably paying like $4,000 for it to get fixed. But it's okay. Um, we'll get there and it will be better. So anyways, let's get started on this house. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't. Sometimes mama needs a break. <laughs> So the laundry basket in the chair is for all the stuff that does not belong in the kitchen. The kitchen is a catch-all for everything that belongs in every other room. So I'm putting everything that doesn't go in here in the basket and then I'll just sort it out later.
Gonna need lights to climb a mountain You gotta keep the light close to you I'll be the pillow when you're stumbling And in my arms I'll keep you past videos you know that our floors are in rough shape the refrigerator leaked one day and it lifted up all that linoleum so I had to pull it up and we've been just covering it up with this big old black rug and I finally just got so tired of having the rug there it was like a magnet for crumbs I mean just imagine having carpet in your kitchen that's what it was like and it grossed me out and, and I just got sick of it so I'm just gonna roll with the plywood and you know just do what I do best and make do with what I have Will always, and I will keep you. I will always, and I will keep you safe and sound. I will always be.
I spilled meatballs on my shirt. I did. Um, so ignore it. I'm not changing my shirt. So, yeah. I was eating meatballs and the juice dropped. Um, one of my nicknames, one of my nicknames, um, that my, one of my sister in laws calls me is Baby Dumplin because I literally cannot eat anything, drink or eat anything without it getting on my shirt. I don't know why I always drop stuff on my shirt. Um, I got these little fancy things in. I got these from Ollie's. They were like $7. So, meatball fixing to clean this hallway. Okay. have three dogs and they're always tracking in dirt and mud they bring in leaves and sticks so this hallway is always just dirty you wouldn't believe the amount of dirt I sweep up every single day in this hallway
right, so I have been avoiding sharing me clean my room because of the stain on the carpet. I don't know what it is. I don't remember if it was there when we moved in, but every single time I carpet clean it, which has been like 50 times because I'm neurotic, um, it goes away for two days and comes back like literally 10 times darker. If I'm lying, I'm dying and I ain't dead yet. So I don't know, um, you know, what really I can do about it until we just get new carpet. Um, we redid the carpet in the living room because it was in much worse shape. And this room is next on the list, you know, whenever we get to it. But I say all that to say this. Um, if you're a new YouTuber or even if you've been doing it forever and you're feeling ashamed about something in your home, just don't. Don't worry about it. You're not going to be the only person, you know, that has these flaws in their home. It's not going to be the worst one that anyone has ever seen. And it's okay, you know, just be you and do you and it's all going to be fine. Work with what you got. let me know in the comments ladies do you have the chair I literally this is one of my biggest downfalls every time I take something out of my closet and like try it on when I'm about to go somewhere if it doesn't look right instead of hanging it right back up I just throw it on the chair I probably just need to get the chair out of my room so that I can stop this whole situation but um, anyways yeah I really want to know if you have the chair <music> Betty cleaned her room and she was so proud of herself. She couldn't wait for me to show it on my channel. I did not go in there and fix anything because she was just so happy. So I just let it be. And then I put Sadie in the bath and while she was playing, I went ahead and just cleaned up the bathroom a little bit. I actually have been keeping the bathroom really clean. So mostly all I needed to do was just wipe down the sink and a little spot on the wall where Sadie had some blue marker that she was playing with in there. And so yeah. I'm really proud of myself for keeping the bathroom so clean here lately. <laughs> I've been cleaning since this morning. I'm finally done. We had some like crazy things happen this evening. Like we heard something huge outside. Like we live in the woods and we heard something massive like in the woods. We're not really sure what it was. All my dogs were raising cane. 
and like we had to like run outside to know what it was. It was huge, whatever it was. I think it was probably a deer or it could have been an armadillo because armadillos, they make, they sound huge because they're, they have like armor, you know, so they sound a lot louder and a lot bigger than they are. Um, but anyways, I'm sweaty, I'm hot, I'm tired. I'm about to get a shower after I get hurt in the bed and then I am going to bed. <laughs> My head hurts. The dogs are raising Kane again. I gotta bring them in and put them in their bedroom. I'm so happy to have my whole house clean. Now all I have to do is finish up laundry tomorrow. I have a couple loads left to wash, which you saw from in my bedroom. Everything is just done. Everything is mopped, swept, vacuumed. I even mopped both the bathrooms. Um, well, I mopped the bath, the big bathroom. Um, I didn't mop the little bathroom because I actually just did that like yesterday or the day before whenever I cut my hair. So if this gave you any motivation, please let me know. Everything was a disaster, but I'm started a cleaning schedule. Um, and I'm actually going to probably share that with y'all. I might not share it in a video. I may share it over on Instagram. So I'll link my Instagram down below and on here on the screen. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in my cleaning schedule, let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching y'all. I love all the support that I'm getting from everyone. Um, it's just, it's, it's been amazing. And I just, I feel really, really good about YouTube. I'm loving it. It's a lot of fun. The friends I have met, it's just, I feel like I've said this in videos before, but I just can't like explain it enough. Um, how much all of my subscribers mean to me and how much all the friends I've met mean to me. But I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.